I moved it to the floor. Now I have more space. Either way, I have been fine tuning the overclock. I got the voltage down from 1.35 down to 1.3 so far. Tried 1.25 and it worked great, but that's not the right thing. It worked great, but Prime 95 is annoying. If it crashes this time, I'll be extremely annoyed. Keep moving the mouse around, that always works. Does the mouse moving around always work? We shall find out. CPU utilization 1%. From the looks of it, I have nothing working. Like, nothing even running. Mm, that's it. Mm, four gigs of memory. Time to run each test. It just shut down on me. Yay. Smash the delete key. Alright, 1.25 volts. If you stop them all, what's the next one? Nope. Not what I want. Alright, what happened this time? Wait, why did it go down to 1.25? I had a, I had a 1.3. And I guess there's a proof. 1.25 was working fine, but then Prime 95 is very annoying. Why is that so high? 1.92? I don't know how I feel about that right there. CPU input voltage. Mm. Let's leave that at auto, I guess. I don't know why it was there. I don't know why it's still high anyways. I like losing everything at auto to begin with. Later on I might try some base clock frequency overclocking, but for now, let's just... Oh yeah, what's the memory you're running at? I was running at 2400, now it's at 28, like it should be. Save changes and reset. The Intel Extreme tuning utility I find has not been very effective. CPU Z showed it was at 1.3 volts, however, I don't think it was actually at 1.3 volts. Your torrent has stopped working, that's fine since I don't really care. TV is next upgrade, I promise. It'll be not this piece of crap Toshiba TV and it'll become the ASUS ROG G-Sync Swift 4K monitor thing that 
is supposed to come out soon. Poor voltage mode. Should that be adaptive or static? I don't know. It's in adaptive now, so whatever. 4.2. Cash voltage. That seems to have frozen it. Lesson learned, don't do that again. Unless it was just my mouse being dumb. Nope, everything froze. Nope. Nothing's working. Yay, I can see the limits of my computer. Now it's rebooting indefinitely. Hooray. Yeah, see? Told you. So, 1.792 or 1.8 volts before it was at 1.92 volts. I still don't like it. Why is it so high? It just seems too high to me. That seems like the voltage I would want to get if I was running at Core 2 overclock, Core 2 Duo. So we are still at 1.3 volts. There we go. My computers are too much, they never work. I'll change these to be all off soon, I guess. Core voltage mode, go to adapter, that works. Processor cache voltage mode adapter crashes it. Do not do that. And you can apparently not disable Oh great. Why is this happening? Gotta do this again. Okay, phone ran out of storage. That happens way too often. I'm gonna get the 64GB of the HTC One M9 when it comes out.
What are you doing, mate? Come on. You can do it. Come on. I believe in you. I'm gonna open the front vent. Give you some more air. No, I guess not. Yay. Okay, why is this keep doing this? At least now rebooted. A hey, post beep. Alright, that clearly was strong or something. 1.3. Just putting it back to 1.35 to get this thing back to where it was before. I can retune it later, I guess. Or maybe not. Maybe not with how the way things are going. Maybe tune it, turn it down to 4 gigahertz. Probably should, but I don't want to. Okay, let's see if you can actually beat up this time. Yay. When in doubt, throw more voltages at it. That always works, apparently. Alright, I'm just not even going to mess with Intel Extreme Tuning Utility thing because every time I've done it, it's crashed. Alright, if you ask why I always shut off the TV, it's because um, for NVIDIA cards, it doesn't matter which one, um, when the screen boots up, it just kind of has the edges of it all cut off, cut off, and then I can either go to the menus and set it to native because for some reason it always goes to theater wide one mode instead of native mode or i can shut it off turn it back on and it comes up in native 
And that seems to have been working for a while. Except for when it doesn't. It's very annoying when it doesn't. Because then I have to go through the annoying menus. For Mark. Funny thing is I can do um, Intel Burn Test all day just fine. But nope, Prime 95. Because it tests it the hardest, I need to make sure it runs. At least now it's running for more than two seconds. I'm back to square one. I'll post another video if I ever get anything done on this stupid machine. Till then.